So I'd like to start out with the drawing. Very simply, I have a, a card here that will fit into this envelope and a little card that will fit into this envelope. So I'm going to do these two and I start off, I like to have the tree a little off center. So I'm going to draw a triangle shape. And a little piece of snow, I'll do the same on this little card. If it's in the center, this could be a little boring. It's, I think it's more interesting, better composition if it's not quite. This is going to be simple. I just want to put on a few marks to show where the branches are going to go, where the paint is going to be put on. This gives me more confidence, but it's not really necessary. You could just go ahead and put it on. I like to look at photographs, so here's one that I can use. That will help. You may not be able to see this, but I'll zoom into it uh, a little later in the video. So before I start, you'll be able to see the drawing more clearly. I don't like to make it too dark. I don't want the pencil lines to show through. So I'll speed this up so don't die of boredom. I'm going to use a gum eraser to remove most of the pencil marks. I'll be able to see it, but you probably won't. This uh, enables us to take most of the graphite off so that it won't show up in our uh, finished product. I'm erasing the lines of the original triangle and the other lines I'm just going, going to dab the eraser on to lift the graphite up and I'll speed this up again. I'm going to use this Japanese hake and a number eight sable uh, synthetic watercolor brush. So I first use the hake to put on the water. I'm going to go in both directions with the water, make sure this paper is completely saturated and make sure that there are no dry parts. I might sop it up where it's gone onto the tape. I have it taped to the board so it won't buckle. I'm going to do the same with the little one. And now 
You can see it's quite shiny. I'm just checking to see if there's any parts that don't have water. Let me go over one more time. Now I'm going to wait for five minutes. You have to wait until the sheen, the real shininess comes off the paper. And then you're ready for this wet and wet technique. So the sheen has pretty much come off of here. And this one is a little drier than the big one, so I'll do it first. This is a very diluted phthalo blue. I'm going to drop the paint on just in tiny little bits. Oh, look, I spilled some. So that one got started already. Since this is such a tiny picture, I'm going to change to a tinier brush. This is a number one for this one. I'm going to use a smaller brush again because this is still quite wet here. 